un cantinho, un violão. Hi everybody, it's Dara, and I am a, about to make a raw vegan version, a fast and easy raw vegan version of a puntinelle salad. And it's a classic Roman dish, and it's normally made with anchovies. So I'm going to substitute dulce for the anchovies. And it's made with a lettuce or a leaf, it's a chicory. Um, type of leaf called punterelle and it kind of tastes like bull chicory and arugula. So if you don't have this, which is hard to find, it was long, like this big, and I cut it. Uh, so it kind of, the tops look like this, and it has these ribs, these stems. And classically what they do is they peel off the green, and then you cut the rib down the middle, so it's two pieces. You put it in a, a bowl of water with ice, and it turns, it curls them. So the traditional puntinelli salad has those curled pieces. And I would do that if I had ice. The cold water alone, it's gotta be really cold. So the premise is when you're chopping up or slicing up or mandolining the vegetables as I'm about to do, you have a bowl of ice water. And so you take your leaf off, you can cut it off, that would be easier. And you just have the skinny rib, like so. And then you could just cut it down the middle so it's in two pieces and it will curl up, okay? So, but for today, I'm being super easy, super fast as I like to be because I don't wanna be in the kitchen for a long time, even though that's the easiest thing in the world to put the vegetables in ice water, let them crisp, and then you drain it, put it in a salad spinner and just drain the vegetables so that they're crisp and they're fairly dry. And then we go ahead while they're soaking and make the salad dressing. So basically our salad portion is going to be the punterelle. But if you don't have that, then go ahead and use arugula, that will work. And fennel goes really nicely with this. And um, fennel and also radicchio and perhaps um, a frise but I have radicchio and fennel today. And I wanted to show you what I do with the fennel, is that there is a triangle core. So what I do on my cutting board is I cut out the core and I slice, 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 or I use my mandolin, which is one of my favorite, and you can go to my website, the link below, and see what my favorites are. Um, but this is, is going to slice it for us really quickly. And I always make sure that I use my cut protection glove, which is also on my website, so that I don't run the risk of cutting myself on this very, very, very sharp blade. So I will get out a big bowl, take care of the fennel, I will chop up the lettuce, and I will chop up the radicchio, and then I will go ahead and make the dressing. So uh, we know the classic way of doing it, and we're doing things our own way. That's the beautiful thing. And make sure we're on. The beautiful thing is that you can take a classic recipe that may have ingredients that you don't want to use and switch it up a bit. So for example, instead of using anchovies, we're going to use dulse. It's a seaweed, D-U-L-S-E, and it's a, an excellent source of iodine, and it's wonderful. So we are going to use that for the dressing, extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar instead of the classic red wine vinegar. Classic red wine vinegar is lovely in moderation, but in the raw food diet, the plant-based lifestyle, the, one of the major premises amongst many others is to keep our body in a neutral a pH balance. So we don't wanna to be too acidic, and since most of the food in our current society is acid forming, we tend to eat the greens to alkalize. So all the ingredients we use are for alkalizing. And they say that disease can't live in an alkaline body with a strong immune system. So we're, if we're eating foods that are not offensive to us, and then we can support, it helps support our immune system. 
So that's another reason we like to eat a lot of a predominantly high raw or plant-based diet, but raw because the enzymes are intact and also when we eat cooked foods, our body identifies it as something to process. And there is, you know, um, perhaps a lot of times it's treated as a toxin. The oils are changing molecular structure when they're heated and our body has to work hard to clean up and process and digest and absorb the nutrients from these foods. From the raw foods, it's not the same thing. Our bodies just get really excited about them and it doesn't tax our bodies. So the raw living food gives us energy, doesn't deplete us, doesn't take a lot of digestive enzymes to conquer. Um, so alkalizing is important. Mineralizing is important, which is why I love to use pink Himalayan salt. And this has, if you use iodized salt, you're getting, uh, they bleach it, they use anti-caking agents, and it's stripped and void of the minerals that are really good for us in our adrenals and balancing the water in our bodies. So that, I'm not using, I'm using garlic, that's traditional. I'm using powdered garlic because raw garlic to me is really intense. So you can go ahead and use raw garlic, it will be lovely. Uh, so I'm using garlic powder and extra virgin olive oil. And that's how simple it is, okay, and the dulse. So I'll go ahead and put my glove on and talk to you about the raw food lifestyle, the raw food diet. Why raw? Why raw? We feel uh, peppier. We have more vitality. Um, when we eat a meal like this, we are, oh, let me just cut this. When we eat a meal, a high raw plant-based diet meal, we have energy. Right during when we eat, we can feel it, and certainly right after. So that if you need, if you're in the middle of your work day and you need your wits about you to come up with creative ideas, or you want to go for a run or do yoga, or you're out to dinner and you want to go home and have beautiful relations, you know, this kind of food gives you that energy and isn't taxing and isn't going to make you feel super sleepy. So... I feel like the, that's one of the things, vitality and energy for me is one of the huge reasons I do it. Yes, the beauty, yes, the optimal uh, weight. You can't say weight loss because some people want to fill out, some people want to lose weight. I think we get to our body's natural, uh, natural state. So I'm just going to go ahead and put fennel in here. And so let's see, we covered optimal weight. We covered vitality, we can cover libido. When we are feeling good and our intestines are clean, this food detoxifies. So we end up getting rid of stuff that's weighing us down and we have a lightness. So we have um, more energy to all of our vital organs. And we can talk about our organs being healthy. The less clogged our cells are, our arteries are, our lymphatic system, the more oxygen and blood and good chi and energy gets to our organs. So we're going to think better. We have um, more of the vitals going to our vital organs. So that's really another benefit. Um, mental clarity, I said, mental clarity is just one of my favorites. I mean, it's everything. Our brains, brain health, heart health, liver health, and so it's very good for the environment. It's much healthier for the environment to eat a plant-based diet. And for our own physical selves, I would definitely say it makes you feel younger. I'm making this meal for my dad, who is 85 years young and getting younger. He started eating this way eight months ago, and he is on fire. I mean, he just feels like... He's so thankful because his aches and his pains are pretty much gone. And he doesn't, he feels so lucky that he, at 85, he can feel this good. He said, it's like I took a happy pill. I don't even know why I have this V-slicer. I could have done the fennel on it. I'm not going to do lettuce on it. This is really great to have carrot, zucchini, um, anything, celery. Um, but I'm not chopping up that much. So I'm just going to go ahead and play here. Um, yeah, ideally I'd make the curly cues, but that's not happening today because I don't have ice. <laughs> so we go with what is. So if any of you want to try making the curly cues, go ahead and do that. 
I'm making a beautiful chopped vegan version of a puttanelle salad, a Roman salad. And garlic is going to be nice. Garlic and olive oil, and it's going to be fresh and lively. I'm very excited. And when you get excited about your food while you're making it, your creativity and excitement goes into the food. So that when you sit down to eat it and you light a candle and you share it with a loved one or by yourself, um, you are... You are absorbing the energy that you put into the food as you're eating it. So create it, choose the produce mindfully and with love, prepare it with love and sit down and enjoy it in the same fashion in which it was prepared because you will benefit greatly. So I say to people, if you want to do the raw food thing. Don't worry about everything all at once. Don't worry about everything you need to eliminate because there's a lot of things that, you know, eliminating, eliminating the offensive foods that are hard for us, our bodies, is a lot of why people start to feel so good on this diet and lifestyle. But what I say is that don't worry about giving anything up. Just learn how to make this. Have this first, and you can still look forward to eating whatever you're used to eating, but it's almost guaranteed that once you eat a bowl of this, you're going to have way less, if any, of the other stuff. So don't worry about giving up anything. Just make this first. Educate yourself how to make some healthy alternatives to have as your pre-dinner, your pre-lunch, and for your breakfast. And your life will miraculously change that's another reason that raw or plant-based food is so good is that the serendipities kind of happen when we clean up our energy. So our cells get clean, our arteries, our blood, our veins, our lymph system, our skin is clean, then our aura is clean, and then wow, what do you know? We're radiating at this kind of level that makes us a beacon of light for other people who are radiating at, radiating, at, radiating at that level to come in and connect with us. And so if we're shiny and happy, we're going to connect with other people that are as well. And they will notice us and want to be near us. And if we are, they always say, misery loves company. So if we're miserable, we're going to call in that kind of energy. So we want to be mindful about this as a way to get as clean, clear, and bright as possible. Every decision I make in my life, everything has to do, is this going to help my life to be clean, clear, and bright? So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and use my little, my bee slicer. So this is really fun. I think I could even use it for the radicchio. I don't know if I've ever tried. So here we go. No curly cues today, but it'll still be delicious. Hmm. This is a very big, um, I have a big setting on it, a big plate on it, so it's going right through these little baby carrots, but it's working. flying. That was funny. I made one video once where I was doing this with zucchini, like tons of zucchini, and it was all flying on the counter in front of me. Okay, so now we have that. Um, Herbie loves, we all love when our food is colorful, so we have the orange of the carrots, the green, the purple of the radicchio, and to keep things really I think some orange slices would be really nice in here too. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, it's the blood oranges. How beautiful. So how are we doing? I think I'll do the oranges last after the dressing. So I could do a separate bowl for the dressing, but why bother? Uh, Reuben, no. Okay. Okay, so what I'm doing is I just put a little bit of olive oil in, yeah? We're going to even just make it the easiest. I'm going to put some pinches of the salt in. Then I'm going to put in some garlic powder, and you notice I don't measure because it's not all that important. 
You can always undersalt things, so you can always add salt. That's the thing. I'm going to mix. Oh, I have to do the radicchio. But this is already looking so appealing to me and smelling so appealing. The dulse. Make a nice dinner for Herbie. Okay, so the radicchio, what do we think? Should we do the mandolin? Should we just chop it in two seconds? By the time I'm done discussing it, I could just, uh, I could just chop it. But we could also see how it works on the mandolin because we're curious like that. So it's all fun. It's all play. You really can't mess up. Chop, chop. Add a little bit of fat, which is the olive oil, a little bit of acidity, which is the apple cider vinegar, or the brightness, should I say. It's not really acidic. Brightness. You could use lemon juice or orange juice if you didn't have the apple cider vinegar. Um, I hope you can hear me. The microphone's hiding. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah, this is great. I'm just going to use the... I'll take a picture of this at the end so you could see it close up. Love this. I love a chopped salad for raw food. It's so nice for the mouthfeel to have a small pieces so that the dressing can coat over things. I love to have little pieces. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay. Do the other one. It worked out quite nicely. Take the fennel pieces. So I'm doing the fennel as if I could take just two pieces. If it's celery, it's like a stalk of celery, you hold it straight up and down. Fennel is really good for digestion, and it's um, very good as um, this is, and it helps you sleep. So if you have insomnia, and that's what I remember. Uh, we have a little bit of this lettuce. I might as well use it. And... I could find some bigger dulse pieces too. You can get larger pieces of dulse. That might be nice. I'm going to look in my cabinet. So this is so easy. For those of you who wanted to see the recipe, that's pretty much it. You mix it up in the bowl. You make sure it tastes good. You plate it. Everybody's happy. And I just have to add the apple cider vinegar. So, for those of you who are interested in knowing more about raw food, um, more information, more support, more videos, wellness directory, an amazing community, um, if you need me to see what's going on in your life, join more with Dara. The link is below. You will not be disappointed. Nobody's disappointed over there. It's the most beautiful people and such an amazing place. So, please come join me there. Okay, what do you say I try this? Mmm. I'm gonna see. Okay, here's some other Here's some other seaweed. We have organic raw sushi nori. This is what you use to make sushi. 
So this can get folded up. And then what I like to do is I snip. I snip pieces of it, in, hopefully, into the salad. And then we get nice, it gets, this kind of sushi gets kind of, when it's moist, it gets kind of, I mean the sushi, this nori gets kind of chewy and it's a nice addition to a salad. I will pick up those little pieces. And kelp is another one. Kelp is another seaweed. So this will be iodine rich. Make us feel like we're in Italy. Have a little red wine. Relax. This lifestyle isn't about deprivation. It's about celebration. We're celebrating the incredible fortune to be able to eat organic living foods and to feel our very, very best. That's cause for celebration. That's why I do this. One of the reasons, one of the many. You kind of look prettier too when you eat this way. Your eyes get whiter, your skin gets better. All right. It's like paper dolls. I could have cut out shapes. Okay, so I just mix that up and I'm going to plate it to show you. And it's absolutely molto bene. Gorgeous. Ta-da! I love you guys. Get your greens on. I will see you very soon. And ciao. Mm -hmm.